have invested significantly in four new machines. What do you think a customer gets from you as a company and a brand? The capabilities of our machines. We build machines for specific applications. So there's not much we can't do. We do machines from 320 table ties up to 10, 20, 30 meters. So we can service all your needs, whether it's small subcontract work, whether it's high production volume work. We have our technology cycles, which are unique to us. We're continually developing it. What are they? We have the technology cycles, our applications on there, which give a benefit to the machine. Machine protection control is just one of them. What is machine protection control? 26% of machine failures are normal spindle. You crash the machine. If you run machine protection control before, it monitors the forces on the machine, on that spindle. And you can set a limit, plus or minus, whatever value you want. If you exceed that, the machine will stop. So if you're leaving it unmanned, if an insert goes, and you haven't got some sort of protection on it, it'll just carry on going, melt the cutter, destroy the spindle. On our machines, if you have that technology on there, it stops it. If the tool wears, the lower will increase, it'll stop it. If the tool breaks, it'll drop off, it'll stop it. If your coolant runs out, you don't want to be running it dry, it'll stop the machine. Preventative. It's preventative maintenance. Yeah. So, other technology cycles, gear cutting, gear hopping, gear skiving, eccentric turning, eccentric milling, gear milling, you know, chip breaking. We do it on lathe, we do chip breaking, unmanned running, what do you get? You get that bird nest in the swarm. Who needs the technology cycles? Who's it going to really help? Everybody. It gives you an edge, especially if you want to leave things unmanned running. It needs to be safe. You need to leave the machine safe. So on machines you're running there, if you're not here, what happens if the insert breaks and you're not here? This machine, it'll stop. You run the cycle, it'll stop. What happens if the coolant runs out? What if you've got to fill the coolant up? You'll be running dry. You destroy the cup, you destroy the spindle, the machine will stop. You've got another technology, it's like the chip breaking cycle said before. How can you leave a machine running overnight if you put in, say, titaniums and it's inherently you're getting that nesting of swarf on the machine? The loaders, the robots are coming, they can't take the parts right. out. The cycles we provide on there help ship, even if it's on plastic, aluminium. How do you get aluminium to chip at point one? You can't. But we've got those technology cycles, and that's just scratching what we do on the technology cycle. So we look at what stops companies achieving what they want to achieve? So we will look into that very, very much. Same as on the machine here, we have a technology cycle called 3D Quick Set. What does that do? It takes about five minutes to run, but it checks the kinematics of the machine, where it is, where the X, Y, Z, and the A and the B axis is, and it tells you what it was before you started machining, and it'll tell you what it is now, and it allows you to electronically adjust that setting. So your parts, they stay accurate all the time.